Yes, you absolute stunners. What's that? You've treated yourself to a new wrap and you want to know how to look after it? I've got you. There's a few do's and there's definitely a few don'ts. Citrus pre-wash, go mad. Snow foam, help yourself. Shampoo, do what you like. But decontamination, no, no. Fallout removers, tar and glue removers, generally speaking, they're solvent based. Solvent is used to remove adhesive. Vinyl is held on with adhesive. It's gonna be messy, messy. Polish, help yourself. Sealants, beautiful. And waxing, the glazing oils and waxes are only gonna add a bit of nutrients to that vinyl. Therefore, it's gonna stop it from perishing, cracking, and it's gonna make it last longer. Now, you haven't spent all that money for it to fall off, have you? Absolutely not. You can have that knowledge for free. Love you. A lot of people panic when they've got polished lips. Can I use a fallout remover? Of course you can. Just make sure you rinse it thoroughly. And that's the same problem. Painted, anodized, powder coated, it does not matter. Let it dry on, you're in for some problems. Rinse it thoroughly, rest assured. Citrus pre-washes, to be used before the snow foam stage. Ours, a little bit tasty. pH 13, and it will cut through grime like a hot knife through butter. Spray it on, couple of minutes, rip it off. or high gloss shampoo. Why don't you add a little bit of protection right at the wash stage? Perfectly safe to use on wraps, beautiful for getting rid of etched in watermarks, but think ahead, work away if you've got an exposed edge on the vinyl, because you don't want a load of build up. Messy, messy. Sealants, waxes, 
definitely important on a wrapped vehicle. It's gonna help against UV damage from the old current bump. Simple, spray it on, work it in with a cloth, flip the cloth over and buff it off. Look at that protection. see what this piece is all about.